Now, Tony, without further ado, I say we uh, we like this dude up. This is going to be fun. I love watching old school ECW. I'm excited to watch it with you. I want you to go to Peacock and watch along with us. Let's do a two screen experience. You'll get the full effect from this podcast. It's season four of Hardcore TV. So when you pull up Peacock, go to WWE, type in your search bar, Hardcore TV, season four, episode 12. It aired on March 19th, 1996. So right around WrestleMania 12 or that really bad uncensored pay-per-view from WCW. Uh, so well, here we go, Tony. <laughs> You've got a, uh, a little countdown for us. Let's do it, Daddy. I'm not ready. Not ready to watch ECW? <laughs> I mean, I'm ready to watch it, but, uh, I, you know I, what, uh, while you're trying to get ready, let me okay. address one of the elephants in the room. Okay. I didn't want this to touch the bug conversation, but okay. as I, you and I are recording this on a Tuesday morning, mm -hmm. yesterday on April fool's day, yeah. uh, April 1st, Ariel Hawani hosts a, a fabulous show called the MMA hour. And normally it's all about mixed martial arts. But they right. had a special guest yesterday, a former MMA artist, and yep. we know him in professional wrestling as CM Punk. And he told mm -hmm. a couple of Shavor, a couple of uh, Shivani stories. It included okay. your name, and yep. I wanted to give you a chance to uh, respond to anything that Mr. Brooks may have said. Did he? Uh, did he have a couple of stories about me? Well, it was referencing uh, Jungle Boy, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what we're supposed to talk about or not talk about on yep. your side of the fence, but. Right. He told the story that he was in catering and you came to see him and well, you know, the rest of the story, but he retold sure. that story and, right. uh, you know, your name was, was bandied about a little bit, not in a negative way. He was just right. explaining that you went to him looking for a little bit of help because the narrative was certainly out there. That collision was quote unquote, his show. Right. And then he just sort of told the whole story, but there was a lot of AEW discussion. And with your name mentioned, I felt like I needed to at least mention it to you and give you a chance to respond. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I really don't give a shit about it. Uh, and, uh, I I'm not going to get into this. I, I know what he said and, uh, let him, uh, continue to talk if he wants. That's all I got. Yeah. I, I mean, mean listen, I, I, look, it, Okay. Um, I, uh, no, I don't give a shit. That's all I can say. I, I can't get into that. It, it would be stupid for me to get into that. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what he said with the exception of someone told me, oh, he brought up your name and here's what he said. And I went, no, so what? Right. So fucking what? No, no. He wasn't critical of you at all. No, I know. And, and that, that's why I'm saying, so what? Uh, yeah. well, well, if he was critical of me, people would say, oh, Shivani on his podcast is going to defend himself. Well, I have nothing to defend. No, no, uh, not at all. I mean, unless you're defending AEW and he was critical of AEW, as you might imagine. And he wasn't even super negative at times about Tony Khan. I mean, right. we don't have to relitigate it all. And punk was even sort of cautious about saying, man, I just really don't want to talk about any of this. I'm not interested in relitigating it. It looks like he's moved on. AEW's moved on. That's good. But I know that if I don't mention it to you, then all the comments are going to say, why didn't you mention anything? But I said yeah. to myself, self zero chance. Shivani watched this and even lower of a chance that he gives a shit. Yeah. He's trying to work on today's show this week's show. Like what I understand about your schedule is you're on the road every Wednesday doing TV. You're on the road every Saturday doing TV. And now this weekend, Oh, by the way, we got a big Wednesday show and then a ring of honor pay-per-view on Friday and meet and greets all weekend. And then you'll be doing another show next week. Like the beat goes on. Yep. It's not time to look back and say, well, eight months ago, mm. who cares? We're working on the next show. Yeah. I, you know what? Let's move on. Let's move on. March 18th, 1996. Uh, it's hardcore TV. We are excited to watch this with you. Season four, episode 12. Tony, let's do the countdown. Here we go. Okay. Uh, my countdown goes uh, something like this. Uno, dos, tres, cinco. Now, Thank what you, Mr. Quattro, but uh, okay. Quattro, cinco. I, I already pressed play. So no. uh, what were <laughs> <laughs> you really? Yeah, yeah. Well, back it up. Here we go. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three fucking two fucking one fucking play. There we go. 
So it's a, a recap from last week. We see Brian Pillman in the front row. We've got Joey styles on this side of the barricade. Can't wait to see Joey do some stuff in, uh, the wrestling space again. And there's Shane Douglas who has a, a fun podcast these days. I mean, they're going back and forth and teasing a little bit of violence. And you can see Pillman is really getting that Shane Douglas's goat and Shane looks like he's ready to haul off and punch him, but oh, Pillman pulls a woman and child right in front. Wow. Douglas isn't going to punch a baby. Pillman's a hell of a heel, man. Wasn't he? He was just, just so great of a heel. Let me ask you said, uh, is Joey styles coming back to wrestling? Oh no, he's okay. I he, thought you said, could, can't wait I, to, I, I, he will eventually shit. Everybody comes back eventually. Yeah. Uh, you're right. You're right. I mean, you thought there was no chance you'd ever be back in this shit. Yeah. Now look at you. Yeah. Man, I, I like got to tell you, I just love ECW, but what's funny to me and what stands out watching it back, well, two things, watching this back on Peacock with the sound, you appreciate what a big deal and what a big part okay. of the presentation, the music was, it was unlicensed music, of course. Right. And now right. WWE's had to replace it with, uh, well, bullshit yeah. that doesn't really work. Right. And it's not the same. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't have the same vibe, but even like the building we're looking at here, this is a small building. Like this would have been considered like a spot show. If this was Jim Crockett promotions, like right. a really, really small building. And I just think as cool as this was, and as beloved as this was, if social media existed the way it does now back then, boy, there'd be all kinds of tribalism, just people tearing it down about how small it was and uh, look at the tiny crowd and, oh, they're using bad language and they're using unlicensed music. I mean, I think the narrative on ECW would be different, but because it, didn't exist. Social media didn't exist. I think people were just watching what they enjoyed. And I, for one loved this shit right here. Yeah. And so did our boss, Tony Khan absolutely loved it and talks about it all the time. And Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what adfreeshows.com is all about. Get early ad free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad free shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like title chase, Eric fires back conversations with Conrad and the insiders plus new series like the book with David Crockett, Monday mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early. You can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch alongs, Q and A's and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered that adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today. And Hey, when you do the first week is completely free at freeshows.com.